वॉच टू वेन सिटी हर एंड वेलकम बैक एन अदर प्रोजेक्ट ओवर व्यू डोंट टेक इट सीरियसली बिकॉज आई एम मेकिंग ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट ओवर व्यू इट्स नॉट मीन यू विल नॉट गेट एनी आइडिया आई विल गाइड यू स्टेप बाई स्टेप हाउ आई क्रिएटेड दिस डिजाइन because i included a obj sequence uh, inside element ready workflow i made uh, also few works before where i used element ready uh, for obj sequence and i compiled both things and i made some awesome stuff so this is something like that so let's talk about the project so this is my personal project and this is i made for uh, my own happiness because i like this types of design so let's talk about the concept so i got this concept from instagram first i seen this types of design on a profile on instagram called lock and loading and i know you all know about the guy he made awesome things on instagram and it's very good and the second one i the second concept is inspired from a guy called Larry Hammer sorry bro if i pronounce it your name wrong so he is my friend actually uh, i seen that design you, you can see the work here i ask for the throne chair i mean the game of throne chair and he sent to me and i will also put the link so you can download it and use it in your video and you can also tag me so first start with the model so for model uh, there is a website called miximo you can just simply go on you uh, actually google and search miximo and this is from adobe and you can just simply log in the site does it rig your character so you can download a rigged character here with full of animation or you can simply load i mean upload your character here and you can just do some basic rigging here and you will download a lots of pre made animation if you don't know about the website there are lots of tutorials on youtube you can just check that because i'm not going to waste your time and i'll just move so i download uh, actually i download animation from here and i download it with a bx format and then i simply go inside the cinema 4d and i just load that uh, model and here is the model and you can see with these types of animation and simply i just run a script actually and i will also put the script so basically the script does it export as obj sequence not a particular obj it's done actually exporting your obj sequence so you can use easily use inside element 3d and with textures So basically, there are uh, not any free version of any plugin which export your OBJ data with uh, textures. So that's why I search and I just. So here you can see. So I just load Thrones model, and I just load that OBJ sequence of girl, and I just uh, sit. I just arrange it properly. and it look good here and then i use some motion design too and make a base good looking sci-fi little bit sci-fi type base and it's good if you extract any data part by part you will get the idea how it's made so here you can see i made a uh, if i just you can see some all this little you can see all this to make it and the base is completed and then i load the thrones model i will put the link so you can download it and use it and then i use that girl and basically i exported 151 frames but i need only 86 frames because my animation is only 86 so you can just cut it here by default it says full of your obj sequence so i just got it from 86 and you can preview it here you can see a real time 
so once it's done and you can also select the material of girl and then you can go to the subsurface scattering and just play with if you want a subsurface so i just add a little bit and it's good and then i use more uh, metropolitan building and paste them in a group two and all in a separate group two it means they are completely in group two but they are separately added in group two not in a whole buildings in a group two actually i hope it makes sense let me show you what i mean just like this is in a group one right and there are four folders or four object but here you can see they all have each piece separated in a group two so then i come over here and this group two i just choose the plane and replicate count to 143 and just i do some little bit of randomization and randomize them and then this is the group one you can see it and here i just physical environment i change this setting you can see by default it's something around 35 like this but i change it to 98 and i use subsurface actually this one by default it's like this and then i use subsurface ambient occlusion ssao i did not use ray trade it's a little bit fast and then i use light so let me first enable the shadows and then you can just use a parallel light then i use a spotlight 300 percent of opacity cone angle and i feather you can just little bit or if you uh, want a higher edge you can just go with zero like this you can see the shadow and everything looks very very good for me it's like i am i just uh, like i completed satisfied with the result of element 3d then i use uh, ambient light to fill little bit the scene just with uh, around five percent of opacity then i use another spotlight basically let it start off because i just place a red light here and it's casting shadow from this side actually light from this side you can see it like just a little bit you can see before and after just a little bit and then i just load a lux effect it's not mandatory but you can use it if you have to do like this or you can basically make a if you don't have lux you can just simply make a solid and just make a mask here and then feather out and it will make effect like this and i also add a wiggle expression of point of interest for this camera under camera i use 80 mm and for l 3d i separated a path called z path and then i use camera lens blur and to make depth of field because i think this camera lens blur has a very good quality compared to originally camera blur so i use that actually and i also use element 3d uh, another path for just uh, ambient occlusion so this is it like this and then i use a simple picture and I just make them 3D and I use it in background and then I use a, another solid layer to create some fog here to fill out the scene and then go over here and I use a curve to color collection and I use hue and saturation and in last last i used some white and unsub map and you can see the preview on screen how it looks and it's looking perfect for me and i do some basic sound designing for that and that's it 
so i hope you got the idea how i created this design inside after effect with element 3d and with mixing uh, and with you know 4d and everything so this is pretty good experience for me for creating this and obviously this is it and don't think and this 3d dead because i am still alive and i will make a lot of tutorials soon i have some time issue that's why i am not able to make lots of tutorials but don't worry whenever you need i will be there because if you have any issues you can just leave me a message i will try to solve it as soon as possible and i will i am available 24 hours for you guys so this is it and thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me and i am mps 3d and we'll see you next time with a great tutorial this is it for now